So let's, people seem like, hey, let's, uh, why aren't you taking today off? I don't want to take today off. This is great. What else would I be doing? This, this is awesome for me. Okay, Learjetta, I'm in live. Let's bring in, let's bring in the man, Learjetta. You guys may remember him. My guy. Yo, what up, yo? How we doing? How we doing? I'm chilling, bro. How are you? Happy birthday, man. Thank you, man. What's happening? We're here. So, so Yeah, we we here. If you don't remember Lear, we, he was on uh a little while ago and he's got a he's got a new song called New Friend. Well, it's not that new. Yeah. I guess he, it dropped recently. Um <laughs> and it's it's the uh it's the background for for my top 10 series. If you guys hear the top 10 song, that's that's a reworked version of New Friend. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to hear the whole thing with the with the original lyrics, you got to go check out "New Friend" by Lear Jetta. We put that we put the link in the description of all the videos. So you can check that out too. But um, yeah. anyway, I'm super pumped. And and Lear <laughs> wrote wrote me uh, a little bit ago and said, "Hey, I want to I want to pop your your brain with with some ideas. So give right. give us some backstory and let's do some brainstorming. And maybe maybe Believe Nation can give some ideas too. All right." Believe Nation. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Learjetta. <laughs> it's your boy, Learjetta. <laughs> and, you know, I, I hit Evan up, and I'm like, listen, I want to do a video for New Friend. And I'm like, man, it would be dope if we could just come up with some dope concepts. I wanted to wait till everything open back up. You know, I'm from New York, so I'm thinking it would be dope. And, and, you know, to do that video and have, like, random everyday people come out to just kind of show different you know, sides of life, different things. And I just, like, I just was thinking on the concept of it'd be dope to have these different kinds of people, different things, different scenery in New York, bring it alive. Like, you know, people need to be motivated. So I'm like, the, the theme is you found out that you are somebody, you are important. That's what New Friend is. You looked in the mirror and saw, you know what? It's time for me to wake up. So that's the kind of theme of New Friend. So you found the better version of yourself. You know, and I and I really love that thing. So I'm like, how can we make that coming? Like, that has to get out there. I'm I'm so pumped about it. So 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 you you are your new friend. Like the person back in the mirror looking back at you is your new friend. Yes, yeah. You look yes. It's like it's like you're looking like after going through your going throughs in life and your trials and tribulations, you can look back and say, man, I realized that maybe I was looking at myself in a negative version. And you know, all the things people told you. Uh, you know, even from like your family, family could have a habit of just saying things to you and it'll stick with you. And you realize that you took on everybody else's label in life and you haven't really defined yourself. Everybody else defines you. Yep. So now it's like you're looking back at the journey and you're like, you know what? I'm not that person that they said I was, you know? Okay. So, so you're thinking like full on music video, like for the full song? Yes. Yes. And then maybe a snippet of, Worldwide, because you know I got that coming soon. It was supposed to drop, but what happened is the all this uh, you know COVID stuff going on, things are like being pushed back. So it's still going to drop. It's just going to either go to the end of this month or the beginning of May. So things are just like even when I dropped new friends, it took like a full two to three weeks from the day it was supposed to drop. So it's been kind of a pain, but it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. So so what are you thinking for? Now I don't know a lot of music videos, dude. So like in terms of comps, I don't I don't have a ton of comps. But but it's either like storytelling, uh, or just putting on a show. Like what do you what do you want? What's your initial idea before even involving me and in what my role might be? Like what's your initial idea? So you want to have different people coming in from different backgrounds, but yeah. is it just yeah. celebrating? Is it trying to tell the story of discovering yourself? Like what do you yeah. what do you? Yes, you're, you're you're celebrating. You're celebrating like new life has begun. You know what I mean? So, you know, the story that's coming after the victory lap, and now my head is ain't for the laugh to say hello. That's like, you know, it used to be one way, but now this is a new story. So, yes, it's a storyline, but the reason why I want other people in it, because everybody got a story. A lot of people came from somewhere, went through some kind of pain. A lot of people can relate to that. So I just thought it would be dope to have everyday people because everyday people got an everyday story. You know, they go through stuff. So I thought along with the journey, it would be dope to show, yeah, you know, some me, but then involve people. Like, you know, just let them have this clips and shots and things like that. You, I thought that was you, ever, you ever see the Instagram picture, the meme that went out where it's like there's a cat looking into a mirror and he sees a lion looking back at him? Yes, I saw that one before. I know that's it. That's like, that's new friend. 
Yes. Right? Like you're looking yeah. in the mirror and you see a lion when it's like who you want to be. That's what you're becoming. So, yeah. okay. So is the idea then to show like 20 different people discovering themselves? Yeah. So it was like, yeah. So maybe you could see that winning version of yourself. So maybe have a shot of somebody when they was of something, whatever was going on. And then that winning version, that pumped up self, that new version of self, okay. you know, that would be so dope, man. So, so it's not like following your journey for an entire song, you want to show 10, 20 different people on their micro journeys. Yeah, because I don't, because what I'm learning through this whole process is it's not about you. You know, sometimes as people, we can get caught up in us. It, it is about you, but it's not about you because it's like, um, I can tell my story, but how many people out there who I'm telling my story to, why am I telling this story? Because I want people to know that, no, you're not alone through this process. It's a lot of us out there who, have been through certain things and sometimes your story can help somebody else to get up so it really kind of winds up not being about you because like when people read your books when people buy music i listen to a lot of artists it was some songs that really hit me Dude. hard when i was going through a certain season where i'm like man this song is talking to me Dude. they going to be talking to me right now you got my wheels turning now you got my wheels turning. <laughs> i like it so so here's the thing so anyway people in the chat are liking it this sounds legendary bro uh, yes, I can't wait to see my lion. Dude, here's the thing. What, what, what you just said on that little rant kind of sparked something to me, which is people get unlocked in different ways. Yes. Right? So for some people might be listening to New Friend. They might be listening to a rap song. They might be watching one of my videos. They might be reading a book. It might be meditation or going on some retreat or whatever, right? Yes. So it'd be, it'd be cool if – but everybody needs to go find their new friend. So yes. it'd be cool if, if the video shows like 10 different people – using 10 different ways yes. to unlock themselves. Yes. This is, yes, and that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's why I want, that's why I thought it'd be interesting to have other people there because it's like so many people just be going through. Like, it's, it's some people right now that'll see you every day and have a big smile on their face, but when they walk away from you, they got something totally different going on. Yeah. You know, and you just think of how simple a word of encouragement couldn't go you know you just have no clue at what you could say to a person that could uplift them or just telling them something and you dating in that moment like man you know what maybe i do need to do such and such so this is that song that's saying listen i know what it's like to be in that dark place you know they try kicking me when i'm down bury me in the sand but i came out the window in fact the strongest man all this evil will eat you closest people deceive you never claim they need you then it comes to the seat <laughs> cool. so it's like yeah so it's like i know that's like you can try when you got a dream sometimes you want to open up a business or you want to write some music and it's people who probably knew you for a ton of years they don't want to support you or they don't really see that vision and you got some people out there who because they don't believe in themselves and their vision they try to kind of kick your vision to the curb, you know, yeah. and you, you know, so that's what I'm saying. Like we have to learn how to like really look and understand that if we're going to believe in, you know, what we're going for, then we got to like look at that inner self to that winner self and not the labels that everybody and their mother put on. Top. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that inner self, that winner self? Yes. Dude, I love yes. it so much. This guy can't help it. He can't help it. He speaks in bars. He can't help it. <laughs> my dog wants to come up um what's up dog how you doing yeah this is timo this is timo right there that's 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 the guy um so listen i got a couple of things out that are coming so one definitely I, and again this is your song i'm just kind of we're just trying to like co-create here you you go with what's right for you and i'm happy to right. play whatever part but one i love the idea of people being unlocked in different ways so yeah. i don't know if you can get through 10 in a song maybe like if it's if it's 20 seconds per quick little story, mm -hmm. it, you, you know, you're going to run out of time, but, but somebody gets unlocked through a book. Somebody gets unlocked through, through like music. Somebody gets unlocked from a video. Somebody gets yeah. unlocked from a hug, you know? So yeah. however, you know, whatever the different versions of it, I love that. The other thing I'm thinking is um, if one person kind of leads to the next. So like maybe the first one is music. There's a guy who's feeling really low. Yes. Like you got, and then maybe it's you, like maybe you're there, you're sitting on the street or you're sitting on a chair or something and like you're feeling low or at a coffee shop or something. And, and you're, you're like almost in black and white. Right. Cause you're feeling low and you're feeling sad. And then some guy comes by and gives you a headset and, you right. put a, and he's lit up for some reason. Like, why is this right. guy so bright, flashy clothes and just like 
the, the, the effects are really bright while you're right. like dark and low. And then you put right. on the headset and it, it turns you bright. Now you're bright. Like you, you see the trends and you're listening to the song and you start coming and alive. And now you're bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then like, but then you've got like a book on your table or something while you're there. And then you get up and now you're happy. You're walking down the street and everything is dark around you. And then you give the book to somebody at a bus right. stop or something, right? right. Yeah. And then that, and then she goes and turns bright, right? And then she just she walks down the street and then sees somebody crying, so she gives them a hug, and then that person turns bright. And so it's like this infection, but a positive one, especially coming right. out of the Corona, right? We're like infecting right. each other with positivity. And that's exactly the mode. Like everybody was like, we're all going through this Corona thing. Like it's, we just got smacked out of nowhere. Like yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. we go. So yes, it's the perfect time, you know. So I'm really looking forward to everything opening back up. This is dope, man. I'm hyped about this. Anyway, yeah. so so that's that's like those are that's right. my first my first yes. hot take uh, yeah. coming out of that those two things of like showing different ways to unlock people and then having yeah. a having a catch from one mm -hmm. instead of telling like eight different stories mm -hmm. it kind of bleeds one person infects the next person but with positivity the book should right. be built and to I, serve I, I, you know it's funny <laughs> it's, it's funny yes it should be it, the book should be built right? to serve I'm down for that I'm down for that. Yeah. Yes, let's pass on this thing here. Let's, let's let's do this, man. Come on. This is dope. That's a great idea. Dude, I like it. You know what? Okay, so here's some little tweaks you can make to it. Like, um, the book could be built to serve. Sure, if you want if you want to, you know, show me some love. But, like, the, the headset at the beginning could be playing worldwide. Yes. With a little shout out to what's coming. Yes. And the worldwide is the thing that actually unlocks them. To mm -hmm. be happy and then give it off to somebody else. Yes, that will be super dope. Yeah. Yes. Man. Yeah, man. Like so, the you know that's the that's the thing that I'm thinking about. Like just around that. Like I I've been sitting here brainstorming on this thing. Like man, it's got to be something that's like contagious. It just has to be because that's the point of it. You know, it's not just like I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm just walking through the video showing. It's, it's nothing wrong with telling a story, but I just thought it can be kind of bigger than that you know what i mean i just saw more than just telling that my story will be told through the music but i just thought to involve you know lifting people up that'll be dope you so you got to find like what are the what are the you know eight stories eight, the eight different ways people will get unlocked how mm -hmm. does it transition from one scene to the next mm -hmm. and then logistics of like you know who's gonna shoot it who's gonna who are the eight people gonna be if you're shooting in new york I mean, there's so many people from so many backgrounds. Oh, yeah. Listen, I already got a couple, you know, people I've been reaching out to to get certain things done. So I already know a couple people that's like, all right, we just got to know the vision and see the vision. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get back to you on that. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Make it happen. So what's up? You coming out to New York? We going to make this happen? Uh, let me know, man. I mean, <laughs> I, I get so I my agents in New York and right. – um, I get to New York at least a couple times a year, typically, right now. And it's not that far from where I'm at. I mean, I'm in Toronto, mm -hmm. so right. it's an hour and a half flight to get down there. Um, mm -hmm. Just timing, you know, I, I guess it's when, when, right. Uh, when right. That'll do it. Um, right now I've got nothing on the books because everything's right. been canceled, postponed. Mm -hmm. When things open up though, it's probably going to get insane because everybody, yeah. all the events that got pushed are now like squeezed into because they don't want to cancel it. They just postponed it. Oh, yeah, right. Um, so just figuring that out. And then whatever role I can play. I don't know how good an actor I am. If you want me actually in the, in the, uh, in the movie, in the video, maybe some, sure. some line. I, I, like, I, like, uh, I like, like the Stan Lee little cameo. Right. right. Um, I'm, I'm happy to play a bigger role if you need. Right. Uh, or I'm happy to be kicked out of it if I suck at acting because it's not... <laughs> I got no. I, it's funny. I got a. I got an idea, okay. and I thought about this already. Like I thought about maybe like um, like maybe at the beginning or something. This would be a dope concept. Like I can kind of walk into a store and you be the one to start it off by passing me the book. Boom. You understand? what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. I can be listening to and walk into like something simple like a coffee shop and you be there and we talk and you pass me that and then boom started a video right there. We could do that. We could do. That. I. I don't want it. I mean, the only thing in my head. I don't want it to. I don't want it to just 
feel like a commercial for my book? Oh, no, right, definitely right? not. So it, I wanna, it'll it's, work out. We just got to okay. get the vision all together. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, like a little hidden tribute. Yeah, I'm, da I'm down for that. I mean, yeah. if, I'm being, if I'm playing myself, it's super easy. If I'm just in a bookstore and, and, mm -hmm. and or if you're sitting there in the coffee shop, like most of those bookstores have like a Starbucks inside or uh, some kind of coffee shop inside. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're if you're sitting there like head down at the coffee shop and you've got you know dark clouds over your head or something, mm -hmm. and then I come in and uh, you know put my hand on your shoulder or something and drop the book right in front of man, you and like, tap, it, tap it. I see you, Ty. What's up, man? The guys always support me. I had to shout him out real Who's quick. That? What's up? It's a guy, you know, on my he, on my Instagram. He followed me. He always supported me. And what, what's his name? I mean, he like what I'm doing. His name is Todd. You see him say, well, Molo Ty right there. He's always showing love. So I got to recognize him and say, what's up, man? All right. I love it. Yeah, um, man. Yeah. I like it, dude. I like it. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's other, like I see underdog books in the house. I wonder if there's other even people who, uh, who have accounts, IG mm -hmm. accounts, or even YouTube accounts, who might even be in the background or be in the coffee yeah. shop or something. Yeah that they can help spread some awareness. Like, even if they don't have a role, just, just, being, just being in the shop. Yes, listen, any one of y'all who are on here right now, you got any ideas or you want to get involved somehow, we can network and somehow, listen, I'm open to the ideas. Let's make something happen because this is just a dope concept and I do want average everyday people just coming out. Let's just have fun together. Let's make something happen. This is what it's about. So in the midst of it all, we can all network, you know, meet some people who write, I don't know, whatever you do, poetry, books, let's make something happen. I'm a magician in the comments. There you go. We need a magician for the video. That'd even be dope. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Come, uh, hey, ma hey, positive magic scientist, you got to be willing to come to New York and, and you might get a spot in Leo Jetta's music video. New friend. <laughs> right. I love it. Um, right. So, I mean, what are you thinking for timeline, dude? Um, if, um, depending on when everything open up, cause that's like, I'm really trying to play this by, um, the way everything is going right now. Mm -hmm. So um, when I found out kind of how New York is going to be, we're opening up, then like right away, I will go and make some calls and see how we can get things done. Um, right. I'm going down there just to like do a quick shoot, like for some uh, flicks and stuff like that, uh, soon. But as far as like, uh, video wise and people able to kind of, get more together without the whole social distancing thing. Once I see how that go, but if not, I'll have to get to hook up some other concepts because I don't want to like prolong it. So even if it has to go a different creative route, got to, you know, do something. Yeah. I mean, I think you got to just start. Do you have, do you have the person who's going to film it for you? Uh, yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta reach out to them. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to find who's going to film it and then who are the eight people who you want to do? Mm-hmm. Like, if you want a magician, great. I mean, whether it's, I'd love to have positive, what was it, positive mindset magician here if he wants to right. do it. Otherwise, <laughs> I mean, dude, you're in New York and there's talent everywhere and people would yeah, love it to really on, is. right? right. So, right. especially something visual, like like magic, mm -hmm. like dancing, right? Salsa mm -hmm. dancing, um, or like you hand a book or you put on a head, so like something physical that you can see, mm -hmm. um, I think is super powerful. So, lining up who those eight people are and having a couple backups in case somebody can't make the date or pulls out. Right. And then that starts to put together, like when you said bookstore and I see underdog books in a chat, I'm like, huh, like would he come to New York? I don't know where he's based, but maybe he comes and he's in the background and has a spot in the video and then he helps promote it when it comes out kind of thing. Right. 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 Like the book community is uh, super tight on Instagram. And they are mm -hmm. supportive of each other. And I'm just, I've, I'm not a huge book reader myself, but because I have my book out, a lot of them have been super supportive and getting it out. So right. uh, like if any of them, I, I'm sure some would be willing to come to New York or they're maybe right. already there and right. to, be in, to be in the background. And then we have a little quick meetup or something and do some Q&A right. or something. If anybody right? in New York or anybody is willing, listen, I told this Send me a message. Let me know what's up. We're about to get this done. We're about to make this happen. Le Lear Jetta on, on IG. Okay. Yeah. Well, you just got to put some more bones on it. I like that idea. Yeah. Um, if, if I get more, I'll, I'll kind of pass them on. Um, but I think that's a great concept and a great start.
Uh, uh, and then just keep me posted, man. I, I love I'm going to cook some ideas up this weekend, and I'm going to send it to you. So okay. I will be He's getting cooking. He's cooking. Yeah, I'm gonna cook Back to the lab. Week. Back to the lab yeah. again. That's right. Back to the lab again. That's good. Yeah. And new music coming soon, y'all. Thank all of you guys for all the support. Because after my first one, a couple people came to my page and showed me a lot of love after the first live we had. So I'm always thankful to all y'all, and I hope that whoever's watching this, whatever's going on, I'm going to pray for you. I don't know you by name, but reach out to me. Let me know. God bless you. I'm, I'm hype. You know, let's make something happen. And Amazing. Evan, I'm going to appreciate it. Told you, brother. Cool, man. And listen, when you, get, when you get a little more meat on the bones in terms of uh, dates and, and concepts and stuff, mm -hmm. I, could, I could send out a message to New Yorkers that I know. Every right. time, I, every time I, I visit a city, I like to do some kind of local meetup. To say, hey right. guys, I'm coming to New York. Uh, I got this two hour window open. Whoever wants to meet up for coffee or lunch, or it's always like something, not, not anything fancy, not like some expensive restaurant, just right. something coffee, like Starbucks, something. Um, right. So I can message them and say, hey, I'm, I'm coming to New York. We need this music video. If you've got a talent or you want to be a part of it or you know, whatever, um, I could, you could still screen them for whatever you need to screen, but. Right. But, um, they're part of Believe Nation, so they want to. They'll. They'll be. It's always good. It's always good people. It's always good times in New York. Um, and I, listen, I got a friend. Uh, she she writes plays and books, so I'm gonna reach out to her today. Um, she her name is Tina Marino. She's a very awesome visionary. So I'm gonna talk to her today and see what's what. All right. She has a lot of great ideas. But uh, but like now's the time to start booking people and get their interest. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that right now. Yeah, and, push, yeah. and pushing hard. Even though you don't have a firm timeline, like what are the concepts? Who are the eight people? Start even figuring out locations, all that kind of stuff so that okay. you, can, you can hit the ground running once okay. everything. Because as soon as things start to open up, it's going to get hella busy for everybody. Right. Um, well, I'm going to be in New York on the, on the 13th of, uh, of June. So um, I thought, you, I thought you were in New York. I said, no, I'm going to go visit. New York too, like not right. I'm not there right now. Oh, where are I'm you now? I'm going back on a team to do some work. I'm in, I'm in Pennsylvania right now. Got it. Okay. But I'm going on a 13th to go handle some stuff there. So I'm gonna get with some friends and stuff there, and we're gonna get some stuff done. Yeah. So let's go. Let's yeah. go, man. Let's go. I'm pumped. Cool, man. I'm we'll super pumped. Send you lots of love. I can't wait to uh, see how this this project progresses. Let's go, my brother. Let's, let's make it happen. Let's Listen. go, man. All right. Listen, don't, don't turn up too hard, man. Have so fun what? today, man. I said don't be turning up too hard, but have fun today. Yeah, Happy man. birthday. Can't man. help it. Can't help it. Much love. <laughs> Thanks, Lear. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good one. Peace, y'all. Cheers. I love it. That 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 man's pretty that man's pretty special. I don't remember how we first connected. I, th I feel like you just DM me one day. I should ask him a story. I feel like he just DM me and said he's a, he's a musician. So I said, send me your send me your favorite song that you've written, and he sent me that one. I'm like I love this song, and then we just started collabing. I feel like that's how it. I feel like that's how it happened. Um, so yeah, super pumped. Happy to to promote his um, his his music video. Happy to be in it. I like I like having a little Stanley kind of character role, and I'm pumped that he put the song out, man. You know that song. He's been sitting on it for for a couple of years. And it's great that, you know, now is the time to get it up there. And, uh, and now I love how hard he's pushing, right? It's like, now I want to make it a music video. Now we're going to go to New York. We're going to recruit a team. And he's reaching out to me and other people. Um, anyway, I love it. I love it. Like, aggressively go after what, what you want out of life. And I think in that story is something a lot of people can relate to, of having a, you know, having a dream, having an idea, doing some soft outreaches. You're kind of testing the waters. But then just kind of sitting on the idea for a couple of years. And then now, like now's the time, finally, let's go, let's make it happen. And um, I'm pushing hard. I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay, what do we got? Some quick questions. Um, I looked up T-Clef. T-Clef is awesome. T-Clef I had on my guest yesterday. He's a, he's a hip hop artist um, who, who is gonna be uh, touring Europe. Um, T Clef, T Clef is T Clef. I love that guy. Another, another guy who's just hustling, chasing down his dream. Um, amazing. Vote for Evan to be president for 2020. I can't be president, guys. I'm Canadian. They won't. There's rules. They won't let me do it. They won't let me in. 
I can't be, I can't, I could be a government. What? What are you doing? Nina's doing this. Does it mean I need to wrap up? Listen, Nina, we've got four more minutes. No, no, 25 minutes, you finished. No. I know, but I have at least, I technically can do four more minutes. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, yes, we will. But I, let me, let me, let me, and I got four minutes. This is my birthday. <laughs> anyway. Um, what else? Uh, Zumba time? Zumba time. No, Zumba is Sunday. Zumba, Zumba is Sunday. If you, if you guys don't get beat up by Nina, I got to stand my ground. I got I to gotta earn my, my right to talk to you guys. Okay. My next thing is at 2.30. It's 2.26. Nina's just always keeping me on the ball. But I need a Nina because otherwise I could do this all day long, legit. Like I could just do this and then forget about everything else I have to do. This is a great way to spend my birthday. So she keeps, she keeps, me, she keeps me on, on the up and up. That's, what, that's what's up. Um, okay, what else? We love Nina. Nina, they love you. We love you too. Uh, when are you on next? So usually... Uh, usually weekdays at two o'clock Eastern, I go live typically, unless something happens, I've got a meeting or if I'm out of town, but now I'm not traveling, obviously. So it's, it's been fairly consistent weekdays at two o'clock Eastern. So hop on in and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time as well. Thanks to Nina. Love to Nina too. We love Nina. It's all, it's all Nina, Nina, Nina. I love it. How do I grow my chicken masala business? It's not growing and no one is buying it. Um, I don't know how you, so first off, it sounds like a local business. I don't know if you have the ability to be able to, to sell it to me in Toronto, Canada, but local, I'll be looking at who are the, who are the tastemakers? Like if you make the best chicken masala, you know, in the world, then who cares about food in your local area? I'd be looking at, so me, I'm here in Toronto, right? I'd be looking at who are the people who are talking about uh, food on Instagram in Toronto. Who are who are the biggest movement makers for food in Toronto? Why are you laughing? I so this morning I posted a picture and then I do hashtag McDonald's breakfast and then McDonald wrote McDonald has underscore Canadian say happy birthday. <laughs> McDonald's wish me a happy birthday. Oh, because we we you oh my gosh. I went to McDonald's this morning for pancakes and maple syrup. I haven't had pancakes and syrup for a long time. When was the last time we had a I don't know. Years maybe. Probably. Anyway, great. Thank you, McDonald's. Appreciate you. I'm going to have to do extra Zumba on Sunday to work that off. Well, anyway. Have to, you don't have to wait till Sunday. Okay. Good. So chicken masala. Who are the, who's talking about food in your city, right? Who are the people who, who uh, people pay attention to? Like for me, the fact that I went to McDonald's doesn't mean a big deal, I guess. But McDonald's Canada said, you know, tag me or whatever. Awesome. But I'm not a food guy, right? I'm not a food influencer. My birthday meal was McDonald's pancakes, right? Come on. <laughs> well, you could have a better one, but you wanted to have... No, no, but that's how I roll, right? I don't want to go to some fancy whatever. Like, I, I, I'd rather just go to McDonald's, drive through, get some pancakes with my wife. That's, a, that's awesome for me as a birthday, right? I love that. But that just shows I'm not the food guy. So... I may not be able to tell the difference between a good chicken uh, and, and, a, and a bad one. Like people aren't following me for, for that stuff, right? So you don't want to talk to me and get me eating your chicken. But there's lots of people in your city who are the chicken person, the food person. Um, and so you want them to try your chicken masala and say, this is the best chicken masala you've ever had in your life. And if they like it, they share it. And they share it, that means the world, right? That means tons of orders. If you can go national, that's even better. But if not, there's enough people just in your city um, who can do it. Okay, guys, now we really got to go. It's 2.30. Appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Happy birthday to me, to you, to everybody. Believe, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Much love.